Hi there. It's August the 6th and we're continuing our journey through the book of Ezra. Uh, we're looking at Ezra chapters 3 and 4 today. And we found yesterday that the people of Judah have been allowed to return to Jerusalem at the uh, decree of uh, the, of King Cyrus, who has allowed nations to return, where the uh, Assyrians were deporting people, the Babylonians were deporting people, the uh, the Persians are allowing people to return and to settle in the lands they were originally in. And so we see here in chapter 3, the people are coming back to the land and they are actually seeking to reinstitute, reconstitute the worship of the Lord. It's a time of the year in uh, the Jewish calendar when there are some important feasts happening. It's the seventh month, the month of Tishrei. And in the month of Tishrei, there is on the first, the Feast of Trumpets, on the 10th, the Day of Atonement. And then on the 15th, there is the the, the beginning of the seven days of the Feast of Sukkot, or Tabernacles, when people live in, uh, in tents to signify their dwelling in the wilderness. And so uh, the people, first of all, re-establish, or the Levites re-establish, the altar of the Lord. They don't do it according to models of altars that exist. They go back to the law of Moses, and they find out how the people of Israel originally built the, Moses, the, 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 the altar of the Lord in the time of Moses. And they build that altar, and then they celebrate, uh, they, they have the morning and evening offerings, and then they celebrate Sukkot. They celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles, and they make sure that that is maintained correctly. And then at the end of chapter 3, they come together with the Levites to found the temple, to bring in the, 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 to bring in the um, foundation of the temple. They're bringing in materials from other places. They're bringing in materials from Lebanon, from Tyre, from the places where Solomon would have brought in materials for the temple. And they're wanting to reproduce it in the way that perhaps Solomon had, had done. But at the end of the chapter 3, there's this gathering of of, to, to found the temple. The Levites are there, they're singing, there's worship, there's music, and perhaps they're singing Psalm 118 because we know that one of the songs they're singing is give thanks to the Lord, his good, his grace, his hesed, his covenant love endures forever. And those are those are part of the words of Psalm 118, which forms part of the great Hallel. But also there are those who have been around long enough uh, who remember what the original temple was like, what Solomon's temple was like. Solomon's temple had been destroyed around about 55 years before. Although there was an exile of 70 years, it was 15 years before the temple was actually destroyed. And therefore, those there are some still around, ancient men, it says, old men who can remember what the temple was originally like. And so they're weeping at the memory of what was destroyed. But there are also the younger ones who are looking forward Forward. They've not seen the old temple, but they are seeing a new start, a new beginning, and they're looking forward to what is to come. And it says the sound of their, uh, the sound of their worship, and the sounds of their weeping, and the sounds of their laughter and their celebration, mixed together, so that they can't actually tell what is weeping and what is laughing. There's just this amazing sound that is heard from far off. Chapter 4, we learn that the people who live in the land already, who have been settled there from since the days of the Babylonians, are now wanting to join in and to help the Jews to found the temple. This is people who were brought in, uh, and they weren't Jews, but they worshipped in, in a fashion the Lord, to keep the Lord happy, as it were, to keep the Lord appeased. They'd been shown the way to worship by some priests, but they were not Jews. And they offer now to come and help rebuild the temple, but those who are Jews coming in, from the exile say no you're not part of us you don't have the pedigree you don't have the genealogy which is very important to us so we can't allow you to help because of this these people uh, re they react and they react jealously and so they actually write letters to various rulers it takes a while to get a ruler uh, in uh, of the persians to to respond but actually eventually artaxerxes reads um, the letter that they've sent and by the way that letter is sent in the aramaic language the part of the last part of uh, Ezra chapter 4 is written in Aramaic, Aramit it's called, and not in the Hebrew language, because this was the language that these local people spoke. This was the language of the Assyrian Empire. And so this last part is written in Aramaic, as are different parts of the scriptures. And so this Aramaic letter is sent, and it basically says the Jews are seeking to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem and to overthrow uh, your rule. The, the, the Persian rule. Uh, of course, that's not true. The Jews are not doing that. They're rebuilding the temple, not the walls. 
but King Artaxerxes reads this letter, he sees uh, the, the threat, he looks back and he sees that there's been powerful kings, that there's been a powerful uh, dynasty, there's been a powerful nation there at one time, and he calls a halt to the rebuilding of the temple. At the end of chapter 4, sadly, the re rebuilding of this temple is brought to a halt by force and by power because of this jealousy. This might have been a time for the Jews to completely give up on the, and give up hope, but we're going to find in chapter 5 that under, uh, under Haggai and Zechariah there's an encouragement to take up the work again and to come back and to seek to finish what God has started. Sometimes we experience setbacks in our walk with the Lord, we experience setbacks in the work that the Lord has called us to, but in Ezra we learn that actually the Lord is faithful even through the most difficult situations, even in the face of opposition and he will see us through. Have a very good August the 6th.